Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 128 or 157, where I'm going to show you how to count the number of working days between two dates. This is kind of an extension of episode number 155 and 156. This is in response to a question posed by Allison at uh, the Quantrix Forum. Uh, Sao Don also provided an answer here, and it's a pretty elegant solution. Uh, kind of a crazy formula that Saudon came up with there, but props to Saudon, he truly is a Quantrix master. But I want to show you a different way on how to solve this problem, kind of building off of what we've kind of done already in episode 155 and 156. I have here a model. I have my calendar date, uh, my day of the week, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. And what I want to do is I want to be able to determine how many working days are there are between two dates. So let's say I have a new matrix, okay? And I'm just going to throw it over here, okay? And we're going to have it be, you know, start and and the count of days. So let's say the start is going to be 1 uh, 2 of 202016 and the end's going to be Let's make it easy for right now, 1, 9 of 2016, okay? What I want to do is I want to be able to get the count of the number of working days between those two. And in order to make that happen, what I need to do is I need to go out and I need to, on the state dimension table, again, I'm going to close this guy. What I want to do is I want to say, well, it's a working day if the calendar day and week is below what if it's actually between uh, Sunday starts the first so if it's actually between two and six right then we're going to consider a working day so what I would say is working day and I would say yeah equals between if this is between two and six and I want to make it inclusive so I'm going to put a one there and what we can see here is if I highlight these ones, I would expect to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Again, skipping a couple days. And again, I'd see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So this indeed does uh, tell me that I have working days. Now, how am I going to get uh, the number of working days between these two? What I would probably then use is the select between function. Let's see if we can do it here. Select between. Okay. What I'm going to say is, what is my value list? Well, I want to bring in uh, that value there. And what is my key list? My key list is this guy here. And what is my first lookup value? It's really the start. Uh, what is my second one? It is the end here. And I do want them to be inclusive. If I go ahead and I do that, it's going to bring back a zero. But if I go ahead and I throw a sum on this, let's see what happens. Okay. So if I go ahead and I make that sum, and maybe I ought to be making this a little bit bigger so you can see it instead of working down here in a corner. So again, I'm doing a sum, select between, ending it there. If I go ahead and I hit enter, it's going to give me five. If I go out here to my calendar and I look at uh, 2016 for January, I go out here and I look at 19 or 12, and I'm going to 19, I got one, two, three, four, five working days. So that is fantastic. Let's say I change this to one, I don't know, 21 of 2016. That's going to bring me back. Uh, Again, if I go out here to a calendar and I look at one, two, I, I've got five there. I've got five there, which is 10, and then I add four more. That's 14. It's working beautifully. And again, I'm able to do that by uh, using this working day calculation. Again, I could add to this working day calculation to make sure it incorporated whether or not it was a holiday and so on so that I could get really the true uh, count uh, considering holidays. 
but generally that should get you started if you have a question you want to solve it that way. That's uh, how I would do it. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you will reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I really do love Quantrix. That's why I stay up till, you know, late hours of the night making Quantrix videos because I love it and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.